Welcome, dear friends, to Cardiac Radio at 11 p.m., nourishing our souls with the laws of love. And the laws of love is this book that brings to us new illumination. It may be changing our lives as we speak because it brings us deep awareness about the understanding of our sufferings. That's the purpose of the book, said Emmanuel in the preface written through Chico Xavier, the medium. But another medium came along and joined forces in this book, Lauro Vieira. This book is a phenomenon. It, brought to, it was brought to us in 1963. And today we're here with you at Cardiac Radio to share the wonderful news. The news that our suffering has explanations, reasons, and solutions. And today we're going to talk about the simplest solution to obsession, which is the last question of chapter 5. This book contains questions and answers. And this last question and answer is... What is the simplest solution to the problem of obsession? Obsession is this persistent negative influence of a mind over another. And it may happen individually or collectively. That's why we have to be very attentive when we are entering these group feelings, this group thinking because when we do, we may be entering a huge obsession. But today we're going to talk about solution. And what is the simplest solution to obsession? The answer. Emmanuel says, let us dedicate ourselves to the construction of the general good. At each day and each hour, while we walk among noble or unbalanced spirits, being coronated or discarnated, it will always be a question of choice and attunement. We understand that children may reply to so many of our questions saying, I don't know why I do this, but when we become adults, we must know. Why am I feeling this way? Why am I acting in that way? Why am I speaking this or that? And why am I doing this or the other? There are reasons why. We always have a choice. There's always a choice. And the question is, when we make a choice consciously, or unconsciously, natural, excuse me, naturally, we're going to connect to other minds who are incarnated or discarnated. It's the law of the mental field. I emit and then I attract what I have emitted. If I send understanding, I will bring understanding to myself. Kindness, and I'll receive kindness. And thus, friends, we need to emphasize the fact that we choose what we want to do. But to have that autonomy or sovereign over ourselves, of course, it's relative because only God has the sole power over, over his creation. But the the part that is shared inside of us, I can choose. At the School of Emotion, I often teach people. We can choose. We can choose what we feel. We can choose what we think. But we need to practice how to do it. Because now I'm going to, it's like pop-ups. You enter a website, and naturally there is a pop-up. That's what happens to us. We make connections unconsciously. Pop-ups, ideas come up. And we're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Is this mine? Is this not mine? Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Do I need to keep myself in that frequency? 
it's not so important like oh where is it coming from but to the quality of it is it healthy is it useful what i'm feeling some people they spend time nostalgically like oh that time was so good melancholy is so bad for us in chapter five of the gospel according to spiritism the spirit francois de geneve explains to us how detrimental melancholy is it weakens our will and will is a force of the soul we need to avoid it if we're longing someone missing them or something we need to think of the people who right now need us during this pandemic all of us have seen loved ones friends departing without the last goodbye is it hard yes but we're not gonna help them if we cry missing them in a sense of like we can cry but we understand that God knows better than us so we cry and we say like I said this morning to my father in a prayer we love you we're so thankful to you and I could hear back from a distance as if we were in a Wi-Fi connection he say I do too I love you and he send more messages so we cry out of joy for knowing that we've spent time together and one day we'll be closer than ever not only when we discarnate but when they are going to be more available to be around sometimes they will sometimes they won't or when they reincarnate or when we discarnate we don't know but it's our choice we can choose joy or sadness we can choose compassion or cruelty we can choose loving embrace or indifference it's up to us but we need to rest assured that once I connect once I choose I enter the Wi-Fi of everybody who is making that same choice and that may be a wonderful thing or a terrible thing let us not forget that Emmanuel is reminding us that when we are amongst people who are more noble than us let us be humble recognize learn from them and that's going to raise our vibrations in humility and when we recognize that there are people who need our help let us help them out sometimes they are unbalanced like we are unbalanced sometimes and we want somebody to help us out let us reach out to them in prayers in kindness in thoughts and encouragement and thus we'll be building the general good you and i are honored today by the simple solution to life to dedicate ourselves to the construction of the general good so here's the invitation for the next 24 hours you and i will be thinking and feeling and visualizing and molding the good with all the resources we have at hand we're going to do something to build the good for all. Even if it is on a Sunday morning to wake up prepared to give something to someone who is in the streets or to stop by at a shelter and deliver a donation to the dogs that are in there. Or we are going to walk in nature and pray for so many people who are in the hospitals or deliver some pizzas to those who are working hard in emergency rooms so many options 
reaching out to neighbors, reaching out to family members, to people whom we don't know, everywhere where we'll be. That's our homework as the simplest solution to obsession. Are we happy or what? We are so happy. We're honored and very thankful that we close this chapter with the solution to the problem of obsession. If we find anybody who is feeling truly obsessed, let's share with them. Think of those who are in greater need than you. Forget your pains. Because when we focus too much on our pains, we go mad. We go crazy. And the only way out is going to be to focus on the needs of others. We thank you for he being here with us at Cardiac Radio today and always. And we want to see you again tomorrow, God willing, here at Cardiac Radio, where we're always nourishing our souls.